everybody, it's Weather and Kamama from weatherandkamama.com. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Um, I'm not doing too bad. I'm 17, almost 18 weeks now, feeling a little drained. I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, working a lot, school, motherhood, you know the story. <laughs> In any event, you know, I, my husband and I, we discuss whether or not we want to find out the gender. A lot of people have been asking us. And, you know, we decided to just make it all a surprise, kind of like what we did the first time around. We did not find out. But I do have fun, you know, guessing. And I've been, you know, looking online. They have these myths, you know, your family members, your friends always, you know, want to point things out and say, oh, you're having a boy, definitely, you're craving this. So, you know, some of the myths include, okay, if you're craving salty foods, you're having a boy. If your baby's heart rate is over like 140 times per minute, you're having a girl, because girls, heart rates a lot faster than boys. So there's these little fun little things um, that I've, you know, kind of researched and whatnot. I don't know how true it is. But the fun thing is the other day I was over at um, the children's store buying a present and I came across this intelligender test. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to try. It's actually a gender prediction test and you could do it as early as 10 weeks of pregnancy to find out. Now, I decided to do this only in fun. I don't plan on finding out what I'm having until this baby pops out. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, <laughs> so it's pretty easy to do. You have this little bottle. It looks like there is um, tiny little crystals and like glitter in it. Uh, you remove like the little sticky thing that's on the top. There's an applicator, you take your fresh morning urine and you inject the urine into the container and you swirl. They say you can't shake it, you gotta swirl it for whatever reason, I guess it, for better results. Now this, not 100% accurate, but again, I wanted to try. So here's the deal, this is what I came up with. Okay, now depending on the color, um, you could be having a boy or girl, obviously. Um, well. As you can see, the if you have an orange, I think it's like an orangey, I think it's a color of urine. Basically, if your urine doesn't change color, you could be having a girl. On the boy side, green. So according to the looks of this thing, let me swirl a little bit more, I don't know. According to the looks of this, it looks like we could be having a boy. But then again, when I look at it, they say to look at it when it's just there. It takes five minutes. And I don't know, it's still kind of, it can go either way. I don't know. What do you think? It looks more boyish to me. In any event, I wanted to do it, show it to you guys. Let me know if you ever tried this or if you believe in these myths and some of the myths you've heard. Share. Sharing is caring.